Hey guys, what's going on, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends Deadpool and Hydra Bob 2-pack, which I believe was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I don't remember, I got off the Hasbro Pulse app. So, looking at the beautiful art on the front of the box here, like, honestly, I feel like if they're gonna do windowless packaging, and I know they're getting rid of it, but this is what they should have been doing. Nice, new pictures every time, not just a basic look of a figure standing there. Then we get another image of Hydra Bob on the side. This awesome way of showing off all their accessories and weapons. So cool. I love it. Again, I wish this is what they would do more instead of, you know, have them all be stylized. On this side we get Deadpool. Deadpool on the top. Nothing else on the bottom. So let's get these boys out of the package. So here they are out of the packaging. And, oh, they're so nice. So both pinless. I believe Hydra Bob is on the Vulcan body, and of course, Deadpool is on the Renew Your Vows body. Very cool, but the really epic part of this two-pack are the accessories. Now, Deadpool, he comes with a lot. Hydra Bob comes with a few, not too many, one of which I'm just going to grab here. Is a little Hydra briefcase. You can see there is nicely textured, just has the Hydra logo on one side. And then this is a tray that is separate from the briefcase itself. But you have, um, I don't know all these. So you have a banana, car keys it looks like, what, whatever this Doctor Strange weapon is. I believe the deluxe figure came with. Thermos with Bob's name on it. And then some kind of scroll there in the middle. Of course it just latches shut. Like so, and you have a nice little briefcase. It's very cool, very epic looking. Now, all right, let's just look at the rest of the accessories. I mean, why not? So, of course, they come with some guns. Now, of course, we get the, of course, of course, of course, I keep saying that word. But we get these nicely, I believe these are new sculpts on Hydra Bob's gun, on uh, Bob's guns. Um, can, is Deadpool going to, no, he wants to fall. Okay. I believe these are new sculpts for Legends to use, but uh, I believe Snake Eyes has had this in G.I. Joe, and I don't know where this gun is from. I f it looks familiar, but if it's been used somewhere else, please tell me. Both of these, if they've been used with Legends before, tell me. And I, I think this is all new sculpting, whereas this is um, pulling from another groups. So tell me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And of course, Deadpool gets the finger guns. I, I just had to show these off when showing off the guns. But he also does come with some real ones. Real guns. So let's quickly get those shown off. Alright, here's his actual guns. And honestly, they're pretty nice. I believe this is the same sculpt that we saw with the hoods weapons. I don't know. I don't know where those are at. He's sitting in a bin somewhere, and I don't feel like digging for him. So, so yeah. Very cool. Awesome. I do like that we got more gun accessories out of these that you could also pair with other figures. But what I will say, and this is just complaining, but I think he should have had two holsters down here so you could, you know, package his guns on his character. That would have been so nice to see, but sadly we just didn't get that. Don't know why I can't focus on Deadpool himself here, but yeah. Very awesome, very cool. I love to see the guns. So, on to the next accessories. And then they come with, and this is really one of my favorite, I want to say, gags of this whole set. And that is the Ninja Turtle weapon. So you get a nice purple bow staff representing Donatello. Some orange nunchucks for Michelangelo. And I believe these are both Sean Shee accessories. This being just the one that came with the MCU figure, and these being comic accurate ones, or comic ac the ones that came with the comic figure back in the Demogoblin wave. And of course, Deadpool also gets a nice pair of gripping hands. Now, I did kind of forget to show it off, so I'll just come back to it real quickly here. He had gripping hands for his guns. But yeah, I, I almost did lose one of the next weapons I'm going to show off here that's part of this whole turtle reference. Let's keep going. We also get these nice katanas and a pair of sizes. Now, 
am going to complain about the size because for and this will go for both of these figures. The uh, handles are so small that they can't actually hold them. Like, they, they really should have bulked up how big these were because, like, I can pretty well slide that right between his fingers without issue. And I shouldn't be able to do that. So, if you want to get him to hold them, you kind of have to put it kind of like that. Which is a big issue to me personally if, you know, the figures can't properly hold their weapons. You know, I can't get them holding them upside down or anything because it's just going to slide out of their hands. That's a problem. So, yeah. Anyway, continuing our look at these awesome figures and their accessories. And then we got the amazing lightsabers. Now... I actually don't know what these are from in the books, but they're pretty cool looking if you ask me, you know. They're just fun, silly lightsabers to me at least. I don't know anything about them. They're just cool, cool weapons to have. Of course, I pose Deadpool like Luke was on the original Star Wars poster. And my only complaint with Deadpool is that he can't... It's difficult to get him in a position where he's holding both. Purely because his, his shoulders don't want to move far enough in. So I, you can kind of do it, but I feel like I'm putting a little too much strain on him. There. Actually, yeah, no, never mind. That looks pretty nice. Look at that. So nice. So cool. I love this figure. Same with Hydra Bob, so let's get him just a little behind Deadpool there. Him like that. So yeah, you can see both of them there. You can get it double gripped, but it's it's a little awkward and difficult to do. But they also both come with Alright, sorry, air conditioner kicked on, so you might be hearing that running in the background. But they also come with some fisted hands, and these, again, they're just fisted hands, they're nice. But it just, it goes a long way when having these action figures, especially ones like these, to have all these accessories and extra hands and fists. And Deadpool also comes with a nice little smiling head, and the promo shots and even kind of the box art made it look a little darker than the body is, but no, it's it's the same color, my camera does the same thing. It's maybe just slightly darker, but not, not enough to be noticeable. I do wish they would have just sculpted a new one that more so matched the, I want to say Rob Liefeld look of this head, but honestly, it's, it's a good face, you know, it works for Deadpool. Now we do have two more accessories, and then I'm just going to gush about the figures. So Deadpool comes with a nice little f thumbs up hand, I don't know why I wanted to call it a fisted hand. And a peace sign, which you can see I'm using to do a little bunny ears on Hydra Bob. Anyway, so there they are. It's nice. It's cool. But my least favorite accessory I saved for last, and that's this stupid bazooka. Okay, I, I like the bazooka accessory. What I don't like is the color scheme. It is just so ugly to me. Like, w why? Why would you make this pink? What? In what world does that make sense? Even for Deadpool, I feel like it would make more sense to have black. And if you, you know, want to comment about his other weapons having colors, I'm giving that a pass because it's a reference to something. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this isn't a reference to anything. It's just a pink bazooka. Which, you know, also means I can't really put it with other characters because it's one that only makes sense for Deadpool. And we saw a nice green version of this in the uh, Juggernaut one, but oh, I just don't like it. And yeah, you can call me a baby for it, whatever you want. I'm going to complain about this bazooka. It doesn't take away from the overall product, but man, it would have been nice to have this in like a green with, you know, like an actual bazooka piece to have coming out of it now that we're seeing teams do more of the fire effect, like firing stuff. More G.I. Joe, but still. So yeah, overall, these figures are incredible. 
uh, no joke, Deadpool might legitimately be my favorite figure to come out this year. From, from Marvel Legends, that is. Bob's okay, but he really is just, you know, basic Vulcan body with a little extra thrown on top. And I don't know where that head is. They did make a Hydra Bob head back with the Deadpool Corp core two pack or three pack whatever they called it the rider series that's what it was where he came with his little moped they had an extra one that but i don't know what i did with it because i haven't been able to use it for so long so there you have it now quickly let's get deadpool nicely stood up here all right so let's get some comparisons done with these two we have the uh deadpool core deadpool <clears throat> And Lady Deadpool from the Sauron Build-A-Figure Wave. Now, both pretty good adaptations, you know. This is the only version of Lady Deadpool we'll get, I would imagine. But honestly, I have to admit, between these two, there is one thing I like that this one does more. And that's that it breaks, like, the arm up from the hand with black cuffs instead of red ones. Because to me, the red ones just, they don't do enough. Like, it doesn't break it up, it, and they just blend in, you know? That and the legs. So, I think this is ugly, where it just cuts off randomly right there. It should continue down and get... Oops, didn't mean to hit him. And get, like, that loop back up. You know what I mean? Where it comes down and comes back up. And see it there. Like, there's nothing. It's just red. It looks like they forgot to paint it. And I looked at the box to see if, you know... Mine just had an error, because, let's face it, it's Hasbro. That wouldn't be uncommon. But no, that's just how it looks. Same with the arms, you know. I would prefer it to come down more, instead of looking like it just cuts randomly to just come down, come back up. But, you know, that's that's just me. And that's every Deadpool design. <laughs> because, let's move these two out of the way. Very first Marvel Legends Deadpool, as far as I know, it was the very first one. That we ever got the old series six Deadpool who doesn't like to stand. Even he had all those details. So as much as I want to call this the perfect Deadpool figure, because this is adapting what I assume to be the same suit. Well, I mean they're all adapting the same general suit, but you can see where it really comes down there and where it up on both and it makes so much more sense to do that than just have it randomly cut or just have a small tab come down on the arm you know what i mean so as much as i do like this figure and if you can pick it up for you know a reasonable price i recommend it it does have its drawbacks on paint you know continuing little comparisons here this is the only other hydra figure i own so let's get the red skull up next to hydra bob and a little more mutant action with Wolverine next to Deadpool. So, yeah. With all that said and done, again, I do really, really like these two figures. But there's also a lot of room for improvement. And I don't mean, you know, but as in like, oh, they're not actually good. No, they are amazing. But it's just, it's hard to say that they're perfect. Because the articulation for Deadpool, I would consider that perfect for Deadpool. It's just the paint that isn't, you know. It should have a lot more going on instead of right here, cut. Right here, stop. No, don't. Do, they could have molded this in black plastic, and that would have made a lot more sense than molding it in red. But, oh well, I guess that just means there, you know, there's one more Deadpool figure to come out where it's this exact same one with different swords and get these cuffs and the paint fixed i guarantee that's what they're doing because if you ever release a quintessential version of a figure or a character why would anyone buy the new one if you already did a perfect one you know what i mean so yeah i love it but it does have its drawbacks just like any product does specifically the bazooka is one of the drawbacks but yeah thank you all for watching i hope you did enjoy the video and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.